Hi, welcome to Biomedical Engineers TV. In this video, we will look into optical coherence tomography. So where did it all begin? In 1991, David Huang, a then a student at James Fujimoto Laboratory at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, began working with Eric Swanson at the MIT Lincoln Laboratory and colleagues at the Harvard Medical School they successfully demonstrated imaging and called the new imaging modality optical coherence tomography. Since then, OCT with micrometer resolution and cross-sectional imaging capabilities has become a prominent biomedical imaging technique that has continually improved in technical performance and range of applications. The improvement in image acquisition rate is particularly spectacular, starting with the original 0.8 Hz axial scan repetition rate to the current commercial clinical OCT systems operating at several hundred kilohertz and laboratory prototypes at multiple megahertz. So what is optical coherence tomography? Optical coherence tomography, or OCT, and optical coherence tomography angiography, or OCTA, are non-invasive imaging tests. They use light waves to take cross-section pictures of your retina. With OCT, your ophthalmologist can see each of the retina's distinctive layers and the optic nerve fiber layer. This allows your ophthalmologist to map and measure their thickness and changes over time. These measurements help with diagnosis. They also guide treatment for glaucoma, as well as retinal disease and diabetic eye disease. Optical coherence tomography and geography, or OCTA, takes pictures of the blood vessels in and under the retina. OCTA is like fluorescein angiography, but is a much quicker test and does not use a dye. Components of Typical Optical Coherence Tomography The principle of OCT is white light, or low coherence, interferometry. The optical setup typically consists of an interferometer with a low coherence, broad bandwidth light source. Light is split into and recombined from reference and sample arms, respectively. Typical optical setup of single-point OCT, scanning the light beam on the sample enables non-invasive cross-sectional imaging up to 3 mm in depth with micrometer resolution. Second, the full-field OCT optical setup. Components include superluminescent diode, convex lens, 50-50 beam splitter, camera objective, CMOS DSP camera, Reference and Sample The camera functions as a two-dimensional detector array, and with the OCT technique facilitating scanning in depth, a non-invasive three-dimensional imaging device is achieved. The Application of Optical Coherence Tomography These are broadly divided into intraretinal and subretinal collections. First, let's understand intraretinal fluid collections. These include retinal edema, focal or diffuse, cystoid edema, cysts, microcysts, and impending macular holes. OCT provides serial scans which are helpful in quantifying the amount of intraretinal or subretinal fluid. The second is subretinal fluid collections. Serous retinal detachment. The classic example is the central serous chorioretinopathy, or CSCR. Serous fluid, with or without subretinal precipitates, causes elevation of the sensory retina. Biomicroscopically, it resembles a transparent bubble. Fluoroscene angiography shows slow filling of the dye, while OCT reveals an optically empty space with or without cells or exudates. The common causes of CSCR include pregnancy, subretinal neovascularization, optic discolobomus, diabetic retinopathy, venous occlusions, and choroiditis. This was the simplified video on optical coherence tomography. There are many instruments used in ophthalmology departments for diagnosis which we will look into upcoming videos. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I will see you guys in the next video.